At least I look as tired as I feel. Good morning, I am in Port Lincoln, South Australia, and today we are going cage diving with great white sharks. After 24 hours of travel I got in yesterday evening, I pretty much went right to bed. Um, I slept for a couple hours and got up this morning. It is almost 6 a.m. now, and I'm going to be picked up in a couple of minutes. I really don't feel nervous or scared or anything yet. Um, I'll let you know if that changes before I get in the cage. I did hear when I got off the plane yesterday that there's been a couple of shark attacks uh, in the area recently um, on surfers and whatnot, not on people cage diving, but we should be perfectly safe down in the cage. And if you're watching this, I obviously was because I was able to edit and post it, unless it was recovered with my body. Okay, let's go. The water looks really calm, but it's really foggy and misty and rainy out and it is not very hot but I think it's gonna be a good day. So welcome to uh, Neptune Island. This is North Neptune Island, where the boat was stationed yesterday and they had four sharks here. So because of that activity, it's not a bad bet to uh, anchor here today. We have another island a bit further south, about five or six miles. It's called South Neptune, <coughs> we thought. And um, this is where uh, we're allowed to do the shark cage driving. It's the only place in South Australia we can do the shark cage driving at the moment. And the reason we do it here, uh, if you look carefully on the cliff, you can see the field. A lot of seals, and uh, at the end of the day, we'll take a bit of a tour inside the bay so you can see more there and how sheltered it is there and, and what they do there. But between this island and South Neptune, another island a bit further west called the Guana, there's about 80,000. That's a lot of seals, um, and they're mainly New Zealand fur seals. And uh, amongst that 80,000 seals, there's about 20 to 30,000 breeding pairs, and they breed every year and have pups and. The sharks are particularly fond of having a bit of a chew on the field. Um, and we'll put the cage in. You enter the cage down this central uh, area here onto the marlin board. We'll kit you up with a, uh, a mask and uh, goggles, uh, sorry, mask and um, uh, mouthpiece for your um, diving, and also a weight belt. So we're here. We are waiting for them to see the first shark before they put us down in the cage. Uh, we're going down in a couple groups, and I'm part of the first group. So as soon as somebody spots a shark, they'll put us in. Never have a tuna sandwich the same way again.
Especially to be getting there, right? Eh? Yeah. How many are there? Oh. Huh? How many are there? Is this one? Yeah, you want to. We got really close, so. See ya. Was <laughs> it fun? Yeah, it was good. Thank you so much. Hello. It is now the next day. Um, I was meant to film this last night, but by the time I got back to my hotel, I was so tired and hungry. There was no way I was going to be able to film anything that made any sense at that point in my day. So I figured I would film it now. Um, I just thought I would have a little chat with you about my experience, um, fill in any gaps of anything that I might not have filmed, and talk to you about how I feel about it all. So basically how the day went, I was picked up at 6 a.m. and brought to the office of the diamond company. There was a group of 27 of us, I think, that went out. Well, the spot that we went was around the Neptune Islands in South Australia. So if you've ever watched a shark week, you've probably heard of the Neptune Islands because there are a lot of great whites there. And that is where a lot of the shark week footage and documentaries and whatnot are filmed. And I think part of Jaws was actually filmed there as well. It was a three hour boat ride to get from Port Lincoln to the Neptune Islands. The first, I would say, two hours were good because we were kind of sheltered in that like there was land around us. But for the last hour, it did get more rocky and I did get sick at that point. Um, luckily, I hadn't ate any breakfast, so I wasn't throwing up because there was nothing in my stomach to throw up, but I was feeling pretty sick. They did have breakfast for us. Um, the food that they served looked pretty good actually, but like I said, I didn't want to eat anything because I was too nervous I was going to get sick. The group that I was with was really great. Um, there were a couple other Canadians on board, um, one of which is a YouTuber as well, so I'll link him down below because he was actually shooting for his channel as well, so he might have got some different footage that I didn't get. So after the three hours when we got to the spot where we were going to dive, um, they dropped the anchor and then they basically started doing things to try to attract the sharks. So they were putting um, chum in the water, um, making noise. They had us separated into groups. I think there were four dive groups. I was part of group number one, so I was going into the cage first. Um, I think there was like between six and eight of us in the cage at a time. The cage was pretty big, like there was lots of room for us to like move around and whatnot. So we waited about an hour before we seen the first shark. So we were suited up and everything and all ready to hop in the cage. At that point, I was still really tired and jet lagged, so I lid down for a little bit and was kind of half asleep when I heard people screaming, shark, shark, shark. So I like woke up and basically ran right out and got into the cage half asleep. So that was... Fun. Leading up to this trip and even like all yesterday morning, I wasn't feeling nervous, I wasn't feeling scared, but I figured, okay, like before I get in the cage, that's when it'll hit me, I'll probably get nervous at that point. But getting to, into the cage, I still was not nervous, I was not scared, which I think is kind of weird because that is probably something that should make me nervous, but it didn't. Um, yeah, I'm literally about to do something that's probably most people's nightmare and I'm just like, mm, cool, okay. So getting into the cage, I feel like this is kind of a part that people might not expect. So you're getting in, you're being hit with really cold water. Well, it's not really cold compared to the Atlantic, which is the ocean I grew up in, but it's really cold compared to... Thailand Ocean that I just came from, but regardless, the water is not warm. So you're being hit with cold water. You are breathing out of a regulator, which if you're not used to, that's kind of difficult to get used to as well. So hot cold water, you're breathing out of a regulator, you're being lowered down. You, the suit that we had on was really buoyant, so it was making us want to float up to the top of the cage, even though we were wearing weight belts. So you're fighting against that to try to stay down. And all of this is going on while you know that there's a great, great white shark right next to you somewhere. So you're also trying to find that. Um, there's a lot of other fish around, so it's like difficult to kind of see, like there's bubbles. So once you get down and you process all of those things, then you're okay. But you do need to tell yourself to breathe. You do need to kind of talk yourself down for a couple minutes. 
but I think once I did all that then I was like okay now I'm good like where's the shark so you're looking for the shark you pretty much have a pretty good 360 view of what's going on around you like the boat was behind us but pretty much you can just look at where all the other GoPros are being pointed in the cage and you can kind of see like where the shark or sharks are so we were down for I think about a half hour which seems like a long time but it did go by really fast so when we were down it was just the one shark that we saw so the footage that you have just watched was my footage but then another girl that was with me wore my GoPro down this time that she went down so there is most likely more than one shark that you've seen um, I haven't finished editing yet so I don't really know what footage I'm putting in there but um, when I was down it was just the one shark that we seen but throughout the whole day we seen four different sharks um, I've written down how big they were let me see okay so we seen four sharks one was a three meter male so that was the first one that we seen so that was the one that was there when I was down in the cage with my group um, the second one was about a 3.5 meter male we seen a four meter male and then we seen another three meter it doesn't say if it's a male or a female like they were pretty big but they say that like a six meter is the biggest that they've seen and that is usually the females that they get um, I think they said around May so six meters would have been the entire size of the cage in the back like the entire length of the back of the boat so that's really big um, but the ones that we seen were pretty big as well and they were coming very close to the cage like I could have not that I would have reached out and touched it it was that close to me after the 30 minutes um, we came up and coming out of the cage you definitely feel like really weird because you're able to breathe normally um, you take the weight belt off and you kind of I don't know you just feel really like disoriented I found anyway in regards to like being nervous and stuff doing it when I was in Maldives I swam with whale sharks and manta rays just like out in the open ocean and I was more nervous doing that than I was cage diving with great white sharks um, I think because when you're out in the open ocean and you're on top of the water and you're looking down you don't really know what's underneath you like that is what makes me nervous but when you're in a cage and you're basically like eye to eye with everything down there I don't know I think for me I found that that was less nerve-wracking than being on top of the ocean and having no idea what's below you and having nothing to separate you from all of those things um, even though a whale shark is not going to hurt you and neither is a manta ray and a great white shark could so I don't know that's just my reasoning behind it I don't really know like maybe other people would find the opposite but I found that I was more nervous swimming with whale sharks than a great white shark but maybe I'm a weirdo I don't know after we got out um, then the second group got in um, they went through the four groups so it was kind of cool to see what was going on above the water too because I did get shots of the shark kind of swimming around um, and watch them kind of bait the water and whatnot and kind of see what it took to attract the sharks so after they went through the four groups then they gave everybody else a chance to go down a second time if they wanted to I didn't go down a second time because where I was part of the first group I was already dry and warm by that point and I didn't really feel like going back down and being cold and whatnot again um, Plus, I got a lot of footage and seen a lot when I was down there the first time. Had I not, then I'm sure I would have went in again, but I didn't bother getting in the second time. We were out there, I think, until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So if we left at 6.30, say we got to the Neptune Islands about 9.30. So we were there for like a little over six hours. Um, they fed us breakfast, lunch, again I didn't eat anything because I was nervous I was going to get sick then again on the way back, um, but the food looked really good that everybody else was eating, there was lots of food there. And then we made our way back, I tried to sleep for that hour period that I thought that I was going to maybe get sick again on, 
so I didn't get sick. I didn't feel sick on the way back, so that was good. Um, we got back to the office about 7 p.m. at night, um, and then the bus came, picked us up, dropped us back to our hotels. I feel like in movies and documentaries, sharks are painted in a way that makes humans really afraid of them. Um, they're made to look like these vicious, like men eating, killing machines. Like we were doing things yesterday to try to attract the sharks to us. We were trying to make them come, and even then, it took an hour. If there's a shark in the ocean, it's not just gonna spot your boat and come after you and try to knock the boat over and knock you into the ocean to eat you. Like that's just not the reality of it. So coming out of this experience, like no, I'm not about to go to California and hop in the water and go for a swim where I know that there could be sharks. Like I think you still need to be cautious of these things because yeah, you're going into their territory and they could hurt you. But overall, they're not these crazy, vicious animals that some people probably think that they are. It was a really great experience. I'm definitely really glad I did it. Um, I will link all the information of the company that I used, um, the hotel that I stayed at, all that sort of thing down below. If it is something that you've ever considered doing, I would recommend doing it. I had a really good experience. I really liked it. Um, it's obviously not going to be something that's for everyone. I'm sure there's people out there that you couldn't pay enough money to even get them in a cage, let alone expect them to pay money to go in a cage with a shark. So yeah, I really can't say anything bad about the experience other than I did get a little bit of sunburn, which was completely my fault. Um, and I got a little bit seasick and I was a little cold. So take some anti-nausea pills, bring some extra clothes and put on some sunblock, you'll be fine. So I'm gonna leave that there for today. Um, I go to Adelaide today. I am gonna keep filming, but I'm going to do that in a separate vlog because I wanted this to be just about the shark diving. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I'm gonna continue vlogging for the rest of my trip, so I will see you in the next one. Thanks.